Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan. Let's look at today's top headlines. Multidisciplinary Indian consensus for rationalizing the use of acid suppressants in children and adults. Key takeaways from CONFOR consensus this has been recently published in the June 2024 issue of Euro Asian Journal of Hepatogastroenterology, an official journal of Euro Asian Gastroenterological Association. First time a multidisciplinary panel of doctors provided 21 consensus statements and recommendations for optimizing the use of acid suppressants primarily PPIs. The CONFOR consensus recommends that when safer alternatives like H2RAs, example ranitidine or famotidine and antacids are available, PPIs should not be prescribed as first-line treatment option for on-demand use or in patients who have non-specific abdominal pain or in acute cases of nausea and vomiting. Multiple studies have documented that in nearly half of the cases, PPIs are prescribed inappropriately and more than 80% of the studied patients had no documented indications for PPI use. Some of the key best practice consensus statements include PPIs should not be used as first-line treatment option in special populations like pregnant women and pediatric patients less than one year of age, especially when safer alternatives like ranitidine are available. Experts strongly recommended against routine co-prescription of PPIs for prophylaxis with commonly used drugs like antibiotics, iron preparations, corticosteroids, NSAIDs, etc. which are likely to cause GI disturbances. Patients with persistent nighttime symptoms bedtime H2RAs like ranitidine or famotidine should be considered. 80% of experts strongly recommended that PPI therapy should be stopped or deprescribed once symptoms resolve and on-demand use of H2RAs like ranitidine or famotidine can be considered if needed. All patients taking PPI should undergo a regular review of the ongoing indications for use. Doctors also strongly agreed that PPIs compared to H2RAs increase the risk of dysbiosis, bone fractures, GI and non-GI infections in both children and adults and when used concomitantly with NSAIDs, it might also increase the risk of acute kidney injury. Also, the multidisciplinary expert panel formulated a simplified PPI deprescribing algorithm which emphasizes the necessity of carefully evaluating the indications for continued PPI therapy or deprescribing accounting for their appropriate and inappropriate use. These recommendations shall enhance the understanding and offer guidance regarding the judicious use of acid suppressants among primary care practitioners for better patient outcomes and reduce overall healthcare costs. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.